Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have asked what type of other nutrients besides hydroponic nutrients can be used for bottom feeding. So I often tell people that it doesn't always have to be hydroponic nutrients and if there is a certain brand that I prefer. I really don't prefer any particular brand because I've used a few and they all work pretty well. And uh, sometimes I just use what I have and uh, they just, they, they work. I'm not sure how well they work versus each other, but they work just fine. So I've been using a lot of the Dino Grow series this year and I mentioned it many times on the uh, updates. Today I'm going to show you the other types of nutrients or water soluble nutrients that I've been using and I'm going to show you how well they work uh, versus each other. So here I have two kinds. These are the uh, Nature Care all-purpose water soluble ones here uh, for organic gardening. I got this at a uh, closeout sale for like a few dollars. I think it's three dollars or something. And this one here is just the regular plant food, the tomato formula. So um, those are the uh, two that I picked up that was on close clearance uh, last winter. So uh, at the end of the season, you can probably find this at most uh, Home Depot or maybe Walmart. This is where I got them at Walmart for really, really cheap. So don't get them during the season. Just wait until the end and then you can buy those. So we're going to mix one gallon of each of these and then we're going to water those three there. So each of this will get one and then I'm going to test them against my Dynagrow series hydroponic nutrients and see if there is any difference. Here I have two gallons of water and I'm going to label this differently so that I would know and I'll, I'll, I'll just label this um, nature care so nature care and then this one would be the miracle grow so for one gallon usually I would put like a spoon of this in here that's what the instructions say so we'll do this one first and I'm just gonna so it comes with a tablespoon and then the, the smaller end, I'm no, I don't know how much that is, but this is one tablespoon right here. All right, so the instruction says to use one and a half of this per one and a half gallon of water. So I have one gallon of water. I'm just gonna use one or a little bit less than one, just, just like, like that is enough. Okay, and then we're going to shake this up. Okay, we'll leave that there to settle. And then we'll do the same for this. So here's what you get. This one is lip, has more solids than the other one. The other one is very powdery. So this one might take a while to dissolve. Okay, the instruction for this is exactly the same. So we'll use a little bit less than a teaspoon. Okay, we'll shake this one up as well. Okay, there we have it. So next we're gonna do is pour it out to this little container for easy using. And first I'll label it. Okay, that's the Nature Care Miracle Grow. It's pretty easy to tell the difference because this is a little red and then this one's just a normal color. And this is, is my Dino Grow series here. So we have three plants. So let's label them as well. So I'm gonna label this Miracle Grow. This is a Scotch Brain. So and then this one is the Nature Care. And this one will give it a Dyna Grow. Okay, 
We're going ahead and feed this first. And we're going to do this every day for maybe a week or two. And then I'll show you some progress. So we just See, I have a pebble at the bottom of the container. So the, the liquid would just be right above the pebble for each of these. So the roots right here. So that's one. And this is the nature care. See, the roots are about the same. This one. Okay, so this is where they're going to sit right next to each other. Those are the three right there. And this is what I'm using the Kingbo 900 watts LED lights. Right there, looking very nice. So we will be back soon. All right guys, it has been exactly one week now and the plants are all looking great. Uh, the leaves from all three plants are green and healthy. So there is really no noticeable difference between them right now after one week. So I'm gonna keep the experiment going and then I'll come back in another week to see if there are some progress that one of them would be growing more than the other. So let's go ahead and give them a feeding and then we'll come back in, in one more week. Okay, this is the nature care, and here is the nutrients for that. Okay, so I usually go a little bit above the pebble. That's how I, I gauge how much to put in there. This is the miracle grow. And here it is. Okay, this is the Dynagro. All right guys, it has been exactly two weeks and I'm going to conclude the experiment here. So after two weeks, all three of the nutrients worked really well. So let me show you the results. This one here is the miracle Grow plant food, the tomato formula. Looking pretty nice. Uh, there's a difference in uh, the way they look, very slight. So under the light, you may not be able to see it. So I'm gonna take you guys outside so you can see the difference in a little bit. This here is a very dark green plant. The NPK on this is very, very high. And that's usually what you need to, uh, to green up your plants. Uh, see here is 18, 18, 21. And mainly they're formulated for tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, uh, stuff like that, you know, so it, this, particular one works great for those and it will make your plants super green okay and then the dino grow which I have been using for a lot of my hydroponic grow uh, the reason I like that is because uh, you only have to mix one nutrient and then once it bloom you switch to bloom so you don't have to do all three parts uh, it's just I like things to be convenient so that's why I've been using this for a while and I chose the liquid kind because I use a lot of the Aragorn stuff. So when you use stuff in the Aragorn, make sure you use the liquid kind because uh, you don't want anything clogging and all that stuff. And then the last one here is the Nature Care. This is the organic version. Uh, it has a, a little less, so it's 1036. It's, it's a good uh, mixture organic for your plants in the garden. And uh, as you can see, all three are grown really well. Uh, I think the, the one that uh, does slightly better than mo the, the other two is the Dynagrow here. It's slightly taller, the leaves, is, uh, look, the leaves look more healthy, 
it's not that super super green where you like kind of like overfeed it um, but for the price uh, is it worth it I, I don't know this is 20 bucks for this uh, 32 ounce this one here I got for two dollars and I think this is three dollars so if I were to choose I would probably go with either this or this actually I'll go with this the reason why I said don't go with this is because it's organic so once you mix it you can't leave it around for too long because if you leave it around in your container like I do here usually when I mix Dynagrow and all the other hydroponic nutrients it's gonna have a funky smell because of all the the organic stuff that they use in there so uh, mix it use it right away or keep it only for one or two days don't keep it too long it's is is it may go bad these two here you can mix it and leave it for like weeks uh, i think i've left it for like three weeks uh the entire thing that the, the entire time that we had this test uh the the container still hold the, the mix that i had for this this one here i dumped it out already because it was bad and I had to make a, make a new batch. So um, if you are looking for something simple, quick, easy that you can find at your local uh, stores, then go with this because it's, it's very easy to find. It's extremely cheap and I mean it works well. Uh, you don't want it to, uh, I mean the intention of, of me doing this is so that I can get it big enough to transplant into the soil. So uh, the two weeks there is very minimal uh, difference between these three so if you have no access to anything else uh, this is okay all right so there here are the three plants uh, this one's slightly taller uh, I'm gonna show you the roots of each of those okay we'll start with the here's a root not bad very nice and healthy of course, it's, it's all circled up and tangled and root bound because the, the cup is very small. Okay? So the roots are looking good. And then this one here, the roots are much wider. It's still bounded and all that stuff. So we need to get these guys out of here quickly. They're already starting to fruit too, all three of them. And then the last one here, which is the nature care the roots are also looking very good see there's there's really not much of a difference in all these three so uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money then go with a cheap option okay let's take these guys outside so that I can show you the leaves man this thing is super super green it, it's just ridiculous alright guys here we are outside and I'm going to show you the difference in the leaf color and you see this plant here look at how green that is very nice and healthy leaf really green and that is what is being used to feed it and this is the normal looking one the Dynagro 795 normal leaves uh, not as dark green as those and then lastly we have the nature care and these two are very similar so after two weeks you can see that all of these uh, different type of nutrients will work for your plants using the double cup method um, cheapest option most expensive alright guys I hope you enjoy the experiment I just wanted to show you that you don't have to use the most expensive nutrients to get your plants to grow well uh, if you don't have uh, hydroponic nutrients available where you are you can always use the water soluble ones that you can find fairly cheap so uh, these are normally uh, regular price under six dollars and that one's I think seven or eight dollars this is twenty dollars so you guys can choose anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe